Hello everybody, TJ Horse Girl here riding in with another um creepy cam disturbing video doorbell camera. Um it's always good to know what's going on around your property, whether you live in a house or an apartment. Um even if nothing really ever happens, it's good to have it. I actually have it's not a doorbell cam, but I have a camera in my kitchen window which overlooks my um or not overlooks but looks out by my front door so i can see people coming and going i can see when deliveries are made um <clears throat> i can see if anything strange has happened and then push come to shove i can download it save it and pass it on to the police if necessary but luckily that shouldn't happen but you never know <clears throat> Excuse me. So it's always good to be safe. I'm not saying you have to get a camera or anything like that, but it's just good to know what's going on. And videos like this just help make it aware because people's mindset too much of the time is that'll never happen to me until it does. And then they freak out and um, can't believe it happened to them. So it's always good to go in the mindset that it's always possible to happen to you. Hopefully it never does happen to you, but... Um, you just never know what's going to happen, um, and why people just, and it's just, from a psychology standpoint, human behavior, it's just interesting to try to figure out why a random stranger would walk up to a random door, um, and start knocking. Now, sometimes it's believed that there are people trying to get in houses to rob them, but other times it's just people knocking on doors and you don't know why they're knocking on your door. Um, especially when you can plainly see in some of these shots that there are plenty of other houses they could go to, but why that particular house or apartment? Anyway, let's see what these creepy people are up to now. Here we go. A guy was seen on camera taking some boxes from this house on December 12th. Porch, porch pirate. See, that's another reason. I get these, I get, um, every now and again I'll get something from Amazon. I live in an apartment complex, so it sits right outside my front door, and if it gets delivered at 11 a.m., I don't get home until 3.34. Sometimes. Sometimes. Um, so if someone's gonna come steal my package, there's a camera right there. I will see you. Come steal my package and believe me that footage is going to the police so don't even think about trying to come around and steal my package how close was that a kid just came home oh no that's the dude never mind Oh, I thought that was a kid that came home after the dude left, but it's just from another angle. It scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I was thinking that someone's kid just came home from riding his bike or from school or something, and just this dude on on a bike. The homeowner in this video it scared the crap out of me. The odd man's request to use the restroom because it makes him uncomfortable. Again, why would you go to this particular house to ask to use the restroom and look at all these houses in the background? I don't think you should go to anybody's house to ask to use the restroom. But I'm just saying, from a psychology standpoint, human behavior, why this house? There's a lot of houses around. Why this one? Why are you targeting this particular house? Because obviously it's a target. If you're going to run to some random strange house to ask to use the bathroom, you're a guy. Go find a corner and pee. You can stand up and pee. You don't need a bathroom. Hey, how's it going? Uh, yeah. Sorry. That's all good. Um, may I use your restroom? Uh, no. Nah, but I don't, I don't feel comfortable with that. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's cool. Yeah. All right. Do you live around here or something or what? Uh, no, no. I'm just in the area. I don't really have anywhere else to go. Oh. The, the community center might, uh... In most neighborhoods, seriously, you can drive within a couple of minutes and find a gas station, a convenience store, a store, um, a community center, like he just said. You walk up to someone's house to use the bathroom. It's not like you're out in the middle of nowhere. If you're out in the middle of nowhere... That's different, but at the same time, you're out in the middle of nowhere. Just sit there and pee. No one's going to see you. Um, Get between your car and the road and take a pee. No one's going to care. 
honestly, I watched somebody, um, well, I didn't really watch them, but I was at Walmart one time, and I was leaving, and there was a guy had his front door and his back door open, and in between the two doors had his little boy who was peeing like a freaking waterfall in between the two front doors, the fr two doors of the car, right next to my vehicle. It was disgusting. I didn't see anything on the little boy, so don't even go there. Um, but they were right next to the store. Like, this little kid couldn't make it inside the store to pee. He had to do it in the parking lot, on the ground with with urine splashing everywhere, hitting the concrete, and rolling underneath my car, my truck. You better believe I went straight to a freaking car wash, because that was disgusting. Because not only was it rolling under my wheels, I also had to roll over it to get out. That was disgusting. So, you know, there's bathrooms, people. Within a neighborhood like this, you could probably drive down the street around the corner and find a bathroom at a convenience store. Walking up to somebody's door to ask to pee is just freaking creepy. Uh, might be okay, but uh, I don't know you, but I'm not comfortable with that one. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. He was smart. Don't let him in. Patrick was unaware that bears enjoy congregating in his yard. But when he checked the alerts from what the his heck was that? doorbell one day, he was shocked to see that other creatures besides bears also like to hang out on the steps in the rear. Speaking of animals doing this, where I keep my horse, the neighbor next door, he's got a chain link fence gate. And he noticed there was a hole that kept getting deeper underneath the gate. And so he put up a camera to see what was making the hole. And he said all kinds of animals were going under there, including a bobcat. And this is a residential neighborhood, okay? So there's a bobcat that lives in the area. And there's skunks and armadillos and, and possums. And, of course, squirrels and rabbits and mice and rats. Because we have them in the shed. One ran across the floor the other day, taking me by surprise. Um, but, yeah, we don't have any bears, though. <laughs> but um, probably the biggest thing we've seen is a bobcat. Um, well... I've not seen the bomb cat, but the neighbor got it on camera, and then, um, I saw, a few years ago, I saw an animal, I never got close enough to see it, but it looked like a cross between a coyote and a fox, from a distance. It looked too big to be a fox, but too small to be a coyote, and it had the tail of a fox. It looked kind of, kind of a cross between the two. And what was so funny is, you know, people talk about donkeys being great guard animals and chase off things like that. Well, they were say, I was locking the gate because we have the entrance gate. We have a little small area, pasture area. And then there's another gate that leads into the bigger back area where the horses go at night. And I was about to lock the gate and I see these two animals come around the corner of the, the shed or the barn. And they kind of sit in front of the gate facing me. And I just look at them, <laughs> trying to figure out what they were. My donkey comes around the corner, gets within about a foot of them, lowers his head, sniffs them, and just turns and walks away. <laughs> I was like, what kind of donkey are you? So I unlocked the gate, walked back through, they bolted. Like, bolted for the neighbor's yard, which the neighbor has uh, land too. No animals on it, but he has land. Um, <clears throat> in fact, our horses have knocked the fence down and gotten over to his property before. Um, so we had to put up a hot wire fence to keep that from happening. Um, but yeah, there's all kinds of animals, and it would actually be fun to put up a camera like that, just to see, um, like what crosses the patio at night, or what you can see. It'd be really kind of cool. It functions as a highway for animals. There was a skunk. Is that a cat? According to Ooh, the geez. proprietors... A liquor store in Colorado had two robberies in a single evening. Surveillance footage showed a hummer Surveillance? through the business. Surveillance. One of the windows, two individuals got out of the car to use the ATM. But the suspects decided that hitting it with the car would be the most effective method to free it because it was fastened to the ground. Yeah, because that's going to help work. Did. I love to watch World's Dumbest, and they put these people that always try to steal ATMs on there. And I think only, like, out of all the times I showed them, which was several, maybe a dozen times or so, I think one time somebody was successful in stealing an ATM machine. Those things weigh a ton, so knocking it free is one thing.
Dude, you need more power than that. Come on. Put your back into it. What are you going to drag it home? Remove the Bitcoin machine and ATM using the Hummer after Good securing Lord. chains around them. They were unfortunate because the chain broke. <laughs> then, using only their hands, they attempted to remove the machinery from the shop. After a third or fourth try at the ATM, okay. they were able to break it apart and escape with the cash box. Oh, they got it. Jeez Louise. Left a big old mess behind. Yeah, they gone, officer. Or are they gone? Maybe they're not gone. Put the officer's they body They were cam. able to put the Bitcoin machine into the back of the vehicle. The culprits had already left before the cops arrived. Hours later, when the owner finally arrived, he discovered that the business had been broken into once more, with various items being taken. This man received a motion Good alert grief. from his ring spotlight camera while he was at home. Hence, when he checked his live feed, he noticed two strangers fiddling with his front door, as he had previously encountered a similar circumstance. Yeah, mine has an alert too, people, so don't even think about it. <clears throat> what are you doing? Just What are you people are doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Like there's a sign right there. There's a sign right there that says the camp the place is monitored by cameras and alarms. Clearly we don't read and we don't what care. Do. The two men took off as he turned on the ring cam siren. Mine has a siren this too, by the way. Claims that the man believed he was oh, going crap. to break into their flat. Now see again. Why this particular flat as they put it our apartment. There's one right there. Looks like there's another door right there. There's that door, and I'm sure there's other doors over there and over there. I'm just saying, it shouldn't bother anybody, but why that particular one? What is, what, why are they targeting that particular one? Sorry, I'm weird. This, this makes me wonder. Answer the call right now, but if you'd like to leave a message, you can do it now. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do. He's like, What the heck? <laughs> Somebody has a dog. That's a yip dog, too. I also have a dog, people, a big dog. Just don't even think about it. She barks if she hears the slightest noise, and it scares the crap out of me, and I know this dog. So if I'm ever recording a video when I do this, it's because my dog just started barking. <clears throat> Dude, pull your pants up. Thought that fashion went away a long time ago. The uploader claims they were sound sleeping when the incident occurred and was startled, but they were deaf. A doorbell camera captured this thief on a bike robbing this homeowner's possessions. Oh, we got a package. We got a package. You know, you don't even know what you're stealing. You could be stealing... A t-shirt, <laughs> a pair of jeans, women's underwear, a bra. You don't know what you're stealing. I've even heard cases of people who have pirate pirate thieves like this, and they actually will put boxes on their porch filled with, like, dog poop. 
or empty boxes filled with rocks or something to make it seem like they got something. Um, <clears throat> and then they record it so they can get the person's face on camera. But, like, you don't know what you're getting. You could get something really expensive. You could get something that's a piece of crap. No offense to anybody who buys anything. You, but my point is you don't know what you're getting when you grab this stuff. Like, it'd be really funny if he grabbed that box and took off and went home and opened it and it was a woman's, um, sex toy. Just saying. Just saying. You don't know what you're picking up. I don't know. Maybe he'd be into that. Who knows? These people are weird. The uploader of this TikTok video claims that two armed robbers robbed their neighbors. What are they doing with the key? Oh my gosh, where'd they get the key? Oh, they're going home. Okay, I thought that was robbers with a key. I was like, where'd they get the key from? Holy crap. Again, this is where being aware of your surroundings when you come home is always a good thing. Just a quick glance around. Make sure no one's close to you. There's no footsteps coming up. Um, there's nobody following you. Especially at night. That way this doesn't happen. Because they rely on the element of surprise, and clearly they surprise these people. But if you're aware of all your surroundings, by glancing around before you go inside, you, they lose that element of surprise. And nine times out of ten, it stops them, because now, they, now they're looking around and they're aware, they know what's going on. They know, bleh. They've looked around and there's a chance they saw you. So, nine times out of ten, that doesn't happen. Now, there's always that tenth chance that they're going to do it anyway. But that has got to be scary as hell. God, I'd be scared to death to go in my house after that. <laughs> I'd be scared to stay outside, too. On camera taking various goods from this property in the dead of night. See, I mean, take a lesson from these stupid thieves. They actually look around before they go steal something to make sure no one's going to catch them in the act. Apply that in your own life. Seriously. I don't care how safe you think your home is, your neighborhood is. Look around before you go inside. Just saying. Watch as this would be thief fail. I do like the fact that my front door isn't fully visible from the street. So that really helps with pirate thieves going by. They're not going to see my front door and see the package unless they walk through the, um, what do you call it? <laughs> Breezeway, I guess you'd call it, that covers the apartments. Um, they'd have to walk through there in order to see a package miserably in his endeavor. Hello. Hello. Yeah, hey, can I help you? Yeah. Ah, uh, we work around. I have that feature too, by the way. Yeah. Study watch? Yeah, I work around here. You work around here? What are you doing? Uh, what do you want? I work for your brother, DC Spot. I don't know. Are you looking for someone or okay? <laughs> Be funny if someone tried that to me. You work for my brother, really? My brother doesn't even know where I live. Can I help you with something? Yeah, I do your driveway, do the step, do the dial. Be for a long time. I 
What? What? Somebody is making things up on the fly. Cause I would love someone to come up and try to tell me that they used to own the tiles on my floor that they that my daddy bought. Be like, no, my daddy's never been here. <laughs> Goodbye. Tell me. I'm not at home. Can I? I'll be there sometime. Oh, don't tell him you're not at home. Don't say you're not at home. That's what they're counting on. Just say I'm not opening the door. Don't need to say you're not at home. You got creepy people at your door. Never say you're not at home. You don't have to say you're home, but don't say you're not at home. They don't need to know where you are. Oh, oh, you know, uh, nobody else? <clears throat> yeah, right now I'm outside. I'm gonna be there in about 15, 20 minutes. I'm out uh, on a meeting. So I'll be home in 15, 20 minutes. Oh. Don't tell people that. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. Thank you. Don't tell people that, because now you don't want them to come back while you're about to walk in the door. Because now he can hang around. I'm not saying this guy will, but... In that kind of scenario, they can hide out and hide for 20 minutes, wait for you to come to the door, unlock your door, and then rush you and br break into your house that way, like that other video. Don't tell people that many details. They don't need to know that. Just say I'm not opening the door. Go away. Just, I don't even say that. Just ask them questions like that. Please assist. Writes the individual who posted this video. If you encounter this man in the Central Point area, please call the police. Ooh, domestic violence. Several warrants, ranging from domestic abuse to breaking and entering. Even being in my own place makes me nervous. Thank you. Ooh. You need a stronger lock, honey. That is scary, though. That's the problem. Like, women should not have to be afraid to be in their own house because they had an um, ex who was violent and um, used to beat them up. That is just not fair. Nobody should get beat up, men or women, but it's worse for women. Nobody should have to live like that. Take a look at this highly unsettling woman as heck? she tries to enter someone's home in the dead of night. They always look so creepy at night. In the night camera, they just look so creepy. And just open someone's door, no problem. Hey. Hey, you need to leave. Why? Hello, my Hey, you shot your pants. You better need to have them up. We're going to have them up. I said the name. Yeah. You better. I got you. I got you. You're here. You're double fault. Okay. What? Bye. Get out of here. What? The heck are you talking about? There are some Harry weird people out there. to see this absurdly long snake creeping across the top of this Ooh, wall. Whoa. Because snakes aren't typically found oh, in this neighborhood. Oh, crappy, crap, cra crappy, creepy, good, no thank you. No thank you. That does look like just a grass snake though, but still. No thank you. Is it true that a guy walked up on my doorstep and left something as TikToker claims? This is what my kids said when I phoned my guys. Which I overheard on my ring camera. What in the heck is happening? 
How do you not know which key it is? How do you not know which key unlocks your door? If you live there. And who was the dude that just walked away? Why'd you leave your door open? Close your door. Why are you leaving your door open? Oh, we didn't lock the door either. You just shut the door. I mean, how do you not see somebody walk up behind you? See, again, be aware of your surroundings. Because apparently that dude walked up behind them, did whatever while they were trying to get in the house, and then left. Not a little boy might have seen him, but what? That's a bear. Holy cow, I just got totally distracted by the bear walking on the thing. I'm sorry. Um, but be aware of your surroundings, people. Come on. When Sharon's husky, especially at Lexi night, led her to the living room window when she was at home. As soon as Lexi started, Look at the black bear. Sharon checked her ring app to see what was going on. On their porch rail, a bear was doing a balancing act. I mean, you don't want to mess with bears, but they are so cute. But you don't want to mess with them. Please, I'll get down now. Oh, jeez. This man shattered the homeowner's glass in an attempt to gain entry at around one in the morning. Unfortunately for him, the cops were standing in the street just behind him. Again! <laughs> Again! Be aware of your surroundings. I don't care if you're the person living in the house or the person trying to break into a house. Be aware of your surroundings. Holy cow. How can you do that with a cop standing right there? Father, how could you forsake me? Be aware of your surroundings. Holy cow. What are you doing? This suspicious looking man was seen on camera searching the area of the building for a key. Again, this is why you don't leave your key under a mat or anything like that in an apartment complex. Check under the mat. Oh, we're just going to sit down outside somebody's door? What the hey are we doing? What are we doing? What is this? <sighs> okay, I had a cat do this one time. Not a person. Can you imagine the fright if someone opened their door and found this man asleep outside their front door like that? So I've had a cat do this, but not a human. Apparently it's hard work looking for a key. Gotta rest. Dude, you're gonna burn your head. What are you doing? That scared me. <laughs> Holy cow.
Ooh, we're gonna go check somebody else's flat. Okay. This homeowner, who had just recently moved in, was caught by this man stealing from him. What the heck? What are you holding? What are you doing? What is happening? What are you doing? Dude, you look like you're keeping guard. What are you doing? You're not on sentry duty. Or are you on sentry duty? Maybe you are on sentry duty. I don't know what's happening. So he stole a rake? Oh my god, is this one somebody gets in the house? Oh no, he's in the house. Steal suitcase. I mean, that's one way to transport the stuff you stole. Use a suitcase. I'm confused. Is that a driveway? What is that? <laughs> Concrete yard? What is this that we're looking at? Is he coming back? Oh, he's got a scooter. How cute. Only seconds after it was delivered, this man was caught on camera taking a box from the residence. Oh, my gosh. A U-Haul truck? Really? A U-Haul truck? Dude, seriously, come on now. A break in is oh captured goodness. on a ring doorbell camera at this residence in the Iowa City region. Oh, too late. It's making me want to check my camera footage. An unidentified male has been observed in Pembroke Pines, Florida, approaching a home. He tries to enter by jiggling the door. Knob, I have an aunt that lives in Pembroke, Ontario. Or she did. I'm not sure if she still lives there. Hello? Bye. Hello? He's like, never mind. Never mind. Stay tuned for our number one pick that will shock you. No, oh, here we go. The homeowner confronted this man after he was seen trying to break into this house in broad daylight. Then he makes one of the dumbest justifications you'll hear in a while, claiming that he mistakenly believed this to be his home. Oh, jeez. Okay, dude. Hey, yo. You don't live in England where all the houses look alike, okay? I think you know this is not your house. That's not believable. What's what you need? Uh, I'm bad. I'm bad. 
Not believable one bit. I think you would remember if you lived next to a place that says Victoria's Tires or Victor's Tires or whatever that sign says. I think you'd remember living next door to a tire shop. Or a sign advertising for it. What is he rooting through the garbage now? What is he doing? Alright, people. Again, just be aware of your surroundings. I don't care if you're the person trying to break in somewhere or you're, you're the person going home, especially at night. Just a glance around is all you really need. Don't get so involved in trying to walk into your house. And also, when you walk up to your house, have your keys ready. It just saves time if you have your house key in your hand so you don't have to go through your keys trying to figure out which one it is standing outside your door. Because that gives someone who wants to come up behind you or break into your house or kidnap you the element of surprise so seriously <laughs> just be aware of your surroundings people and anyway stay safe everybody tj horse scroll riding out